Hello everyone, this is an, uh, a video on how to replace the door actuator and the charger port. This is for the Model X, Tesla Model X. So this was faulty and I bought this off eBay already. And the part number is 1042766. This is the part number you need for the door actuator is not working properly. This is a used part. It's uh, around 150 bucks. This is the actuator. As you can see, this is in the back rear side or the driver's side. And this is gonna be replaced in the Model X. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail how to do it. But I'll give you an overview quickly to for you to know how to replace it. The the problem over there and was uh, it wasn't open on the with the Bluetooth or the remote or the charger, and then inside the 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 Tesla it was a CPW error code saying that uh, the door uh, actuator wasn't was malfunctioning. I could open it by hand, but now with the Bluetooth. Uh, enabled on the charging port on the cable so this is the cable that was the port number one more time take a screenshot or something this is for U US the inlet this goes attached to the rear light left uh, driver side light uh, the brake light so I'll show you really quick how to take apart and replace it Tesla wanted uh, 350 bucks for this so I'll show you really quick even though I already did it so that was a, the new part not a new that used so what you had to do is open this up I'm gonna put this right here you're gonna take this weather stripping off take uh, the kick plate there's gonna be two torque screws one up here and one on the other side you're gonna gently pull it it's gonna come off you're gonna take off this uh, there's some holder plastic snap things and then you're gonna undo this side and then uh, you're gonna kind of take everything on the on the way I have my stuff still here so I'm just push it in let me get some light so you can better see and then I got out the the nuts and bolts in there I got you have to get a a magnetic long rig tool so they don't fall because I lost the socket and the and the the crevices of the Tesla but even though okay so you're gonna push uh, this plastic off snap it off from that square and then kind of just leave it everything right there you're gonna have to work on it unless you wanna like take everything out and disassemble the whole part but this is how it worked you're gonna need a torx a screwdriver different sizes I think it's 15 and 20 and then a bigger one I don't know which is the big one is this one the find out which size is it 15 20 and the glare 30 can't tell with the glare but 15 20 and 30 and then uh, you're gonna go through here you're gonna take out the rear light there's gonna be two screws right here attached to the light <coughs> I'm sorry to the brake light and then there's gonna be one on the wall total three screws on the snap the clip and then you're gonna take out the charge port there's gonna be four torque screws those big uh, wires the orange ones you're gonna just uh, uh, unbolt it from the frame and kind of loose uh, take them off the, the screws they're right there on the back and then uh, you're gonna wiggle this out your light and that's gonna have this attached to it I'm just one-handed right here so I'll show you how it is there's gonna be two three uh, fifth torques 15 screws then you're gonna have to uh, work on it this is gonna be loose the plug it's gonna be loose. I'm, I'm one-handed right now. So bear with me. Um, this is gonna be loose. I'm gonna push it in, and you're gonna unclip 
the plug the one I just showed you this is the cable and um, do it with a screwdriver or a hook or something and then kind of work on it if you push it you have room like an inch an inch and a half or more you're gonna need time because these settles are over engineered and everything is kind of tight and very well made and unless you want to like disassemble it completely this is the at least an hour job for you if you have the tools all the time so now you're gonna put it work in it this the cable is gonna go under and I, I have to push and put it back put the rear brake light back bolt it in there's two bolts one here one's here you're gonna have to get a, a lot of small tools and then there's a, a bolt right here on the side so there's three uh, bolts that attach these to the frame and then the three ones that are right here this one you can manually close it but I'm just gonna wait for it right now I'm gonna work this thing to be under and then once I get everything down here I'll try to do this one-handed we're gonna work on it and then we'll press over press it because we're gonna mess mess it up see how I'm doing it one hand the mechanism pushed it in this cable I'm gonna try to do it get around the, the plug all right it's almost there anyways there you go and then this you have to kind of line it make it fit and work where it belongs and I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit break anything or push it hard Okay, anyway, this is not the point of the video, but the thing is that this is the thing important eBay. You can get it worth 150 bucks. Use, of course, working. And then uh, you have to, this is the way you gotta do it. You gotta take off this rear brake light and undo the things and plug it in. You gotta loosen this port. There's four Torx three, uh, T30 on the back of these. These are the harder, one of the harder to get. You're gonna unscrew them and then get with your magnetic long reach tool and uh, get them out and then once you work everything back in uh, I'm gonna uh, attach these back with the two nuts and a bolt on this side and then I'm gonna work this back uh, bolt the 40 uh, 30s and then just get everything lined up in the back so this is how it looks you wanna have a uh, little trouble. You don't want. You don't wanna disassemble the whole thing. But uh, this is a way to do it. Tesla wanted 350, but I did it for 150 or less. Uh, this is how you do it, and then everything just go in reverse order and clip everything back up. The bolts, everything, put it back. You're not. You're gonna end up with the this part. Which is the one I told you earlier. This is the clip you have to undo. It's about right here. Just with a hook or the screwdriver, you just undo it and pull it. And this part was malfunctioning. I guess water got into into here. I guess I take it to a car wash. Anyways, so this is the the faulty part. That wasn't working. That was the part number one more time. Please drop a like if help you. This is for the Model X 2016 2020. Thank you. Enjoy.